At this point in your deployment, you have run some discovery jobs and added some nodes manually. Now the polling engine is quietly cranking away, gathering data in the background. So let's take a look at a couple of those nodes and see what we're getting. From my summary view, I'm going to expand my all nodes resource to take a look at my Cisco devices. And I'm going to click on the TEX3750 object. This takes me into the node details view, which is one of the more common views you'll be looking at. A lot of information in this view, but I want to highlight a couple of the main resources, starting with node details. Here you can see the node status, IP address, and basic information about the node. Below that, you can see the hardware details and current hardware health. Over in the right-hand column, I can see any alerts that are currently active on the node, as well as all alerts that this node can trigger. I can see availability stats, current interface utilization, and CPUs by percent load. This is all great information, and it's there for you by default without having to configure anything. But the metrics you see are going to be dependent on how you are polling this node. If you click on Edit Node under the Management Resource, under Polling Method, you'll see that you're monitoring your router via SNMP. So all of these metrics you're looking at are based on a common set of MIB and object IDs for a Cisco device. Different polling methods are going to provide different sets of metrics. If I was monitoring using ICMP, about all I'd see is the up-down status of the node. Now, let's take a look at a Windows server. I'm still looking at the Node Details view, and I still have a Node Details section that looks fairly similar to the Node Details for my router. But notice that my management resource looks different. I have different options available based on the monitoring and management capabilities of the WMI protocol. I can do things like start and stop services or reboot the server with WMI. There are a lot of metrics that SNMP and WMI have in common. For example, when you jump to the Vital Stats tab, you'll see that you have average CPU and memory utilization here again. But down below that, you can also see disk volume details, which is something SNMP doesn't typically monitor. So keep in mind the polling method is going to dictate the metrics you can capture. The node details view can provide a ton of information about the node, but it's also a great starting place for drilling deeper into your monitoring. For instance, while looking at disk volumes here, you can see that my C drive is currently 82% full. If you want a better look at what's going on with the drive, you can click on it and drill down into the volume details view, where you can see things like usage history and disk IOPS. Now you can see from the node details view how you can drill down to look at any element on the node and how this view is the starting point for monitoring in Orion.